hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to make a shadow box card using the lawn fawn shadow box and the uh, ocean add-on and i believe i used the spring add-on for the opening um i'd already had these two pieces cut these main pieces um from a previous project so i just decided that i would use it for this one <laughs> i thought it's blue it makes sense for an ocean themed thing so I went with it. So I have got a bunch of pieces cut out from that set and um, I'm just going to add some tape to these little like end flaps I guess and one of them I will be sticking to the where the like the opening is on this box card um, and sometimes it's easy to do it this way and sometimes I just turned it over and sort of lined it up as best I could and that made sense for me um, do what works for you but sometimes this also takes me a little while just to um, remember how to do these things because I don't use them <laughs> that often which is a shame um, I should probably just do that just make more of them and then I'll remember every time um, so I decided to reinforce the score lines that the die makes for the ocean uh, for, you know for the waves and I actually cut two two of the same one there's two types and then I cut two of the same type and then one of the other one so that I could alternate them um, between each other and then I also cut them out in three shades which are different shades of blue to the main box card um, just so that there was some variant and then it would look almost like an ombre effect going into the the um, you know inside the card so again, I'm putting some little pieces of, of strong tape on the back of the, on the tabs. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's <laughs> all over me. Um, and you take one tab off and stick this to, sort of line it up with the bottom of the, of the box card and then stick it into one of the shorter or narrower side panels. And so with the next wave up, I'm just lining up the bottom edge with the where the top of the wave would start. So the lowest point where those waves come in, um, like a curly, the curly bit, if that makes sense, just so that it doesn't um, stick out above. So the base, the, the bottom of the wave won't stick out above when you're looking into the um, box, if that made any sense. And then um, I'm also moving, shifting each layer or each wave over slightly so that they, what happens is by doing that, when you then close your box, each one's sort of stepped back and slightly up. Um, so hopefully this makes sense. And then the easiest way is to flap them the other way, take all the tape off the edges and then simply close it like so. And that way it will then stick the other side of the waves to the other um, short panel in the card. So hopefully this makes some sense <laughs> so, like i say it's been a while so normally you would take the um, tape as i had it there and stick it to the inside of the, the back of the box but i actually swapped that out and did it the other way around so that i could stick it at the back of the card because i didn't want i wasn't adding anything into the the back piece of the inside of the card so i didn't want that that sort of seam line um on the inside of the card so when it's on the back of the card this is where you're going to write your messages and things like that because these will fold flat what i'll do later on is i will create a little um piece that i i just measured the bo the back of the box and sort of went with it that way um and just measured a piece of that box at the size of the back of the box and then stuck a piece over that so you won't see that seam line where the um you know where the, the, the card folds in uh, folds together and then to create some sort of uh just to so that some of these things like the bubbles look like they're floating or they up in the air i'm using some acetate um you can use packaging or anything like that and i just cut them into thin little strips and then i've put some uh thin double-sided adhesive along it the edge of it just a short piece and then i'm going to stick the outline of the bubble and I've kept the inside pieces that are die cuts as well and I've put all of them in and that way you've got your little bubbles that you can then stick to the inside of your box card 
and then they'll look like they're floating <laughs> so which I think is very cool <laughs> so, so I'm going to do this and I'm going to turn them around and change the sort of slight direction of them even though when they're in there you can you can obviously manipulate which way you want them to be sort of sitting if you like um, and then I just cut off any excess um, acetate at the top of each of those little I guess like little arms <laughs> of acetate <laughs> with the bubbles and then there were there's also a couple of tiny little like smaller bubbles in there as well um, sort of on their own so I did the same thing I just sort of stuck them on the edge there used the inner piece as well and then just cut the um, excess I don't know why I had to use such large scissors but cut the excess of the acetate off uh, that was sticking out above the the little bubbles um, and it was really easy to do this um, wet adhesive would work as well but you obviously have to wait for it to dry and sometimes wet adhesive on acetate I don't find it sticks that well so sometimes I find it a bit of a more schlep than anything so I just use as long as your tape's quite strong tape then you should be fine um, this is still only that cheap stuff from Amazon so it but it seems to be working really well and then I cut a much thinner piece of acetate um, which I then stuck to the back of the whale and this little piece here I think it's the water sort of spurting out the top of the whale um, I've seen someone else use it as um, not as water coming out the top but as a like a piece of coral as well so somebody tell me what it is because <laughs> I'm not sure um, I want to say it's the the water spouting out but it could easily be coral and it looked fab with this um, you know when it was done that way so anyway so now I'm just going to get some tape to the front of my whale because I want him to sit behind one of those waves so I need to be able to stick him to that like so and then again I'm going to get some tape onto all these bubbles and sort of position them in the in the uh, you know at the back of the waves now the only thing I'd say is just watch how far up you put your tape um, the bottom bits not so bad because you can just trim that off sort of from underneath the box which is what I'm doing here but the um, the top you know where you have your adhesive obviously that if that sticks out then it might when you go to sort of fold your box card flat so it can go in an envelope it, you might stick it to itself so just be aware of that again wet adhesive would work pretty well I'm not it's not for me it's not the best with acetate but um, yeah use what you have and, and see whether you've got a wet adhesive that might work just again be aware that when you go to sort of put that together that you're not having too much of that glue oozing out otherwise it will potentially stick your box card together <laughs> so, which you don't want obviously <laughs> and then I have some of the grassy pieces they're not grass seaweed <laughs> pieces and I'm just going to arrange some of these on the outside um, and slightly inside the box along with a couple of the shells that again are just within that die set the ocean add-on die set it's a very cute set actually I have done another video on it I'm sure in the past um, you just have to go back and check out the videos to try and find them but I'm sure I have um, and this is where I stuck it flat so that thinking I would that would make sense but actually you want it popped up so you can see because my seaweed in this position was too far into the box and that's not actually where I wanted it so just be aware that if you stick it flat if you know if you fold it flat to stick anything in that you when you then pop it up again it's going to be hidden more um, or it might be too far out depending which side you're sticking on so um, just something to be aware so it's easier it, it's it's kind of fiddly but it's it's easier when it's actually popped up um, and out like this so that you can actually see where you're putting things rather than um, when you know it's sort of folded flat and then I'm using some glue dots just to stick some of these shells in um, and I've just got a few of them in the front there and I just thought that added a little something so for the back I've actually got there's a frame within the um, the ocean add-on and what I did was I used the uh, the tan embossing mat which is a spellbinders mat that I've had for about 
10,000 years. And I actually embossed that frame into that piece of cardstock that I cut. That's just the size of the back of the, um, the box card. Uh, and then I used some Pacific Point Stampin' Up! ink just because it was a nice blue to go with it. Um, and a, my pink stamper stamp <laughs> says get whale soon. <laughs> so whenever I've got, like, I think I've said this before, whenever I've got like a, like a die set or a, you know, something where there's, there, or even a stamp set where there's no sentiments with it, um, which is unusual these days, but it's some of the older ones don't have sentiments. Um, then I always, and it's a critter, I always go back to my pink stamper, <laughs> Punnylicious and even more Punnylicious, I think is the other one. Um, they just, they work <laughs> so, so, so well. So stuck it to the back there and then that is, that's it. That's the box card. So at the back there's some decoration and it's, but it's completely flat um, and some way to write a message when I send this out because I'm really good at that. Um, and, and there it is. There's this 3D shadow box card uh, with an ocean theme. Now you could add tons to this. You could add extra inking to all the edges. You could add, um, oh that was my cat I think I was trying to say. Um, you, you know you could add all sorts of stuff to this. You could add extra inking. You could use pencils. You could use um, Copic markers you know to add some extra shadows and things. But even if you're just doing it as a without any of those extra bits it still is a really cute little project and a cute little card to send someone. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you next week for some more fun and frolics. <laughs> so till next time guys. Bye.